Yes, we do. All right. Hi, queen. Hello. Can we get you to berserk? How about now? Can I knock her over? That'd be kind of neat. Eddie, don't run in front of me. Or fly in front of Eddie, stop it. That was weird. <laughs> uh, Eddie just didn't want to get me want me to get any shots in. All right. Well, that's the end of that. I wasn't expecting it to be that easy, but it was. It's probably because I started with grenades. Grenades tend to make it so much easier when you open with them like that. Okay. Now we got some eggs back here. Got some ant meat. Probably not going to need these, but I'm taking them anyway because we're a klepto. We take everything. We are are a pack. It's, it's more like a pack rat if, if you're just taking everything instead of stealing it. <sighs> I'm here. <laughs> Somebody following up the sniper question a, a while ago on, on a sniper build or a gun player build to how you would do a melee slash unarmed build. Um, and New Vegas does melee and unarmed differently, which is kind of cool. Uh, I saw that uh, endurance actually plays a part in your unarmed skill and damage uh, rather than strength. So uh, endurance has that extra bit of uh, usefulness. Um, so if you decide to go an unarmed character, you're going to want more endurance. Um, but that plays into helping helping your character anyway. If you have melee for you know extra durability, durability's sake. So yeah, that's gonna the options you get are, are kind of are kind of uh, nice. nice. But what you're probably going to want, if you're going to use bats a lot, you're going to want strength, you're going to want to focus on strength, endurance, agility, and luck. Um, and of course you can't fo focus on all four of them, I don't think, at a time. So maybe um, once you choose like between melee and un unarmed, you'll have a better idea of what you want. Uh, so if I go, if I use an unarmed, if I do an unarmed character, I would do, um, you know, seven to eight endurance. Uh, eight to nine agility, and then eight to nine luck, I think, or maybe a little bit less, because I would want to get like the lucky shades and stuff like that. Ally myself with Caesar's Legion. Oh, we're we're fighting over here again. Okay. <laughs> Where you at? Ooh, you're in trouble. You're in trouble, fiend. Ooh, center of mass. But. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty entertaining. I guess we can go... Oh, that counts, too. That counts towards, uh, towards a little challenge we're doing, too. That's good to know. So, were the, were the NCR soldiers successful? I'm not sure. <laughs> but we're going to go in here really quick, because it's a little bit of stuff to ex extra stuff to loot. What do you think is the most underrated feature in Fallout New Vegas? Um, underrated, probably... Probably the gambling system and uh, caravan. How, how often do players actually play them just for the sake of playing? Um, if you ask me Fallout 4, I would say the uh, the holotape games. Because like, those are just entire games on their own, and they're glossed over as collectibles, and that's about it. So, <laughs> I would go with that. Um, yeah, the, the gambling, the, the, um, the cards, the playing of, of the cards in Fallout New Vegas, the very different variations of it. Critical hits with rifle grip guns. That's me. I'm glad these are just basic ants. Is it? Oh, I was like, does it stay knocked over? <laughs> that was funny. That was a funny noise. <laughs> All right, Eddie. Eddie, can you carry a little bit of stuff for me, please? I was carrying the Ranger Patrol armor still, too. I don't really need it. <laughs> it's faction armor, too. I don't really need it. Okay, what's in this broken broken terminal? Check out cores and plugs for connection. Uh, looks like it's not... Uh, all right. <laughs> oh, I forgot I could just... I could just take all. I could just take everything. Oh, this is so wonderful. <laughs> All right, let's keep a going. I don't think there's anything else really in here worth looting. I think somebody did have a collection of bottles. Ah, bottles and caps back here. Yes, they did. Let me 
Let me grab these. These. Oh, they fell through. And not all the way. There's a star bottle cap. There's a star bottle cap. Somebody was collecting. Oh my goodness, we could do that side quest. We have so many choices. <laughs> um, I, I do want to do... Uh, probably Honest Hearts pretty soon. Because uh, we do have quite a few good things uh, to use weapons-wise. And I don't want to go in there like... I think I don't really want to go there like past level 20 or level 30 uh, because <laughs> the white legs would just be kind of ridiculous from what I remember they have like 50 cal rifles and stuff like that it's pretty insane it's pretty uh, let's see we got a little fight going on over here oh looks like the NCR one again who's that is that a dude that's a dude Got a laser RCW. Oh, I don't think he's gonna. I don't know if he's gonna survive that. An area with free loot. How about that? <laughs> All right. And you. Ow, that tends to hurt. She has a hunting. Oh, what kind of what kind of weapon is that? Cowboy repeater. You can look. You can see it. <laughs> I don't have to guess. All right. Finish her off. Yep, 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 yep. Nope, nope, yep, there we go. And she be dead. We need some water. Could use a little bit of water, a little parched. Cowboy repeater. I love I love that, that so many enemies carry the cowboy repeater too. You can just repair the, the long carabine and keep going. I think that's awesome. So instead of heading back to Camp McCarran and being disappointed on what quests we can and cannot do, why don't we finish off the rest of the fiend leaders? So... <laughs> We can guarantee that we have something we can bring back. And then maybe go to Crimson Caravan and tell them that you delivered the invoice. Or tell them that we delivered the invoice. Uh, deliver it to Alice, I believe? I think so. Okay, so what is the best light armor in Fallout New Vegas? That would be the Sierra Madre Security Armor if you're going for damage threshold. Um, I think that is the strongest, yeah, the strongest light armor you can get. Um, which is really cool. Um, I don't know which one is stats-wise. Um, I haven't really looked into that. Um, I do like the gecko-backed reinforced leather armor. Um, I know previously I called it the Mark II, but it, it's just reinforced. It's the same thing. <laughs> it's Mark II leather armor, but it's called reinforced. Um, let's see. What is your least favorite or least listened to genre of music? And I, I think it's it's like world and spiritual type music. Like I, I listen I listen to like alternative Christian music and stuff like that too. But um, uh, I think I think NF uh, NF is a pretty good uh, example of <laughs> very alternative, <laughs> um, just hard hardcore. Um, but okay, so we got we got Violet. Oh my goodness, Violet hits really hard. I did, I was not prepared for this. Okay. Ow! We might get killed because she can hit me and I can't hit her. Come on, come on, Violet. Come on, Violet. Got her. I think her head popped off again. I'm trying not to do that, but it does so much damage. <laughs> that really hurt. Oh, my, my thirst went away. I must have taken a drink from the from the Vault 13 canteen while I was fighting. Yep, her head came off. Mangled. My bad. Okay. Um, what I like to listen to... Um, why don't you guys tell me what, uh, what music you don't listen to enough or haven't listened to very much at all out of just like not liking it or or whatever and uh, what music do you like listening to um, I have a playlist on the channel itself uh, called Kato's Listening Pleasure if you guys want to check it out that is a lot of the music that I like to listen to um, a lot of it is hardcore post hardcore metal type stuff as well as some electronic or EDM music or EDM electronic dance music music <laughs> um, yeah let me know and uh, if you if you can think of the light armor that's that's very helpful um, when it comes like most powerful stats wise too, let me know because I, I can't I I would have to look in the wiki and like 
determine like which stats are more important too. Oh, we're thirsty again. Okay. Um, so with with Cook Cook, we killed Violet. With Cook Cook though, we can actually take out his prized Brahmin and he'll go berserk. And I think I want to do that because that's that's a fun way to do it. I only I only recently in the last couple playthroughs figured that out. All right, use a little, little bit of rat away there too. Why don't we use Why don't we use the mysterious Magnum? <laughs> <laughs> and get the animal control perk rank two. I couldn't have timed that better. That couldn't have been timed any better, guys. Sneak attack critical on Queenie. Look on the upper left. You will see possibly that Cook Cook becomes frenzied at the death of his favorite Brahmin. <laughs> and we'll see if he gets killed in the process. Either way, I'm going to enjoy watching. Let's get our shotgun out for this. I'm, I'm wanting to sneak up a little bit because, oh yeah, they're all, they're all against him. There's a lot of, a lot of foes here too. Wow! Curios and Relics deal, what, 10,000 damage with pistols? Oh, Cook's almost dead. Can we take him out? I'm going to try one solid pistol shot and then two more against this, one more against this guy. And body shot. And body shot. Wow. Wow. All right. Shotgun for the rest of you. Let's go. Come on, fiends. Hi. How you doing? Cutting right through you oh, with this beautiful shot. <laughs> that other one's cowering. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. I am not a good shot. I am not a good shot with the revolver. <laughs> wow, it's really cool that I that I have to kill uh, fiends. Wow, we we uh, we kept Cook Cook's head. We it's actually in one piece. <laughs> that makes me kind of happy. Okay, so we had some Brahmin steak cooking cooking up here. Uh, let's see, Cook Cook, give me your head, please. Thank you. And a flame rate and incinerator. Those will sell for quite a bit, I know, but. I don't think I want to bother. We have plenty of things we can sell already. Uh, and I do like fighting the fiends and just taking their energy weapons. Because they weigh less, but they, they're they quite valuable. <laughs> this is like the first time I haven't just thrown a bunch of grenades in here. Fiend fiends. Uh, cook cooks. Uh, fiend fiends. Cook cooks fiend stew. Delicious stuff. Uh, I'm going to switch to this. So there is a fiend camp over here too. A little, little bitty campsite. They're not gonna know what hit them, because we're sniping from so far away. And you too. Another one. Oh, that one knows I'm here. Dead. <laughs> it's a little too easy with this gun. I would say that. What are your favorite items to build in Fallout New Vegas? That is for everyone here. Um, the commenter was saying that the auto-inject stim packs are their favorite. Um, I was going to go with the uh, microfusion cell clusters. Those are a lot of fun. Um, as well as the bottle cap mines. I, I, I love bottle cap mines, man. Um, nuka grenades, of course. But you need uh, nuka, nuka cola quartz. And it's apparently... It's one of those like not-so-easy things to get. Um, so you, you have a finite amount of nuka grenades that you can make uh, in Fallout New Vegas, I believe. Unless there's somebody you can you can actually buy, like a bartender or something, that you can actually buy the nuka cola quartz from. I haven't tried that. Uh, but we are kind of going the scenic route around Vegas, um, just so we can get a couple more locations discovered. Um, I know we got the, the, west, the west side, um, and I do want to do a few quests here as well. Um, I think there is a gentleman here, uh, Jules, Jules. Uh, he has, he has the same name as a as an NPC in. I think there's enemies here too. Yes, there is. He has the same name of an NPC in Fallout 2, but there's no direct reference to him. He just says he's been down down some hard roads, or something along those lines. Oh, he's just a melee dude. Hello. Bye. Scorpion. That's so good. 
<laughs> we might level up. We might just level Why did I take his armor? I don't know why I took his armor. <laughs> the Monte Carlo Sweets. Let's go in here. Just to clear it out really quick. Yeah, Jules, uh, he teaches you uh, hand-loaded rounds. Whoa. Put those guns away. Oh, boy. Uh, uh, uh. Get out. Oh, jeez, he's got a ripper. Oh, man, there's so many of them. Please don't kill Eddie. Please don't kill Eddie. Please no. Please no. Oh my goodness. Oh, please don't kill me. I just ate a bunch of stuff. Oh. Okay. What what killed me though? So there's a lot of dudes in there. Um a guns I was too concerned more more concerned with, with Eddie surviving. And I only have so many shots with this. Without hollow points. Uh let's see. How about a slug? Should we just slug him? <laughs> I kinda wanna do that. Wait here, please, Eddie. I'm gonna see if I can clear them out, or at least come out here. Okay. So let's see how this- what? Why'd she run? Where are they running? Where are you running to? There's so many people in here. Who's there? How about some mines? I do have mines. Hey! Hey! Oh, come huh? on! Come on now. Come on. I just knocked her into the mine. <laughs> Hello. It's about to get crazy. Hmm. Right ahead. Come on. Come on, shoot at him. Come on. I'm still backing up. Shoot. Shoot at him. Come on, game. You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. There it is. There it is. I had to back up so much. Okay, he's dead. You like that? And you. you like that? I don't like that. He's dead. You're down. You're dead. Yeah, the slugs are the way to go for this mid-range. Okay, so we cleared out. Something just hit me really hard that last time. All right, we finally got our tag skills uh, up to 94. Guns, melee weapons, and survival are all up to 94, where we want them to be. Now we can kind of pick and choose other skills that we would like to use. And I think the first and foremost is uh, probably probably going to be speech. All right, this was a tough choice. Uh, either tribal wisdom or finesse. I'm already pretty good on crits, uh, from what I've been seeing anyway. So I think we're gonna go with tribal wisdom, which is our limbs take 50% less damage from animals, mutated creatures, and mutated insects, and you gain 25% resistance to poison damage, and you can eat mutated insects while in sneak mode. And I believe if we do honest hearts, I have a little, uh, a couple of extra special dialogue options as well. So let's finish off looting all this stuff. Ooh, we got a 44 mag. We could repair ours with it. All right, that's probably what they killed me with. That's probably the one. Okay, we're gonna switch back to three out buck and go back in. Who else is here? Who else is here? Ha! Ah, you. His name's Roller. This is hopeless. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> is it hopeless? Alright. Somebody died there. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Are they all cowering back here? No. They are. Had enough? Eh. So I'm fleeing like they are. Hello. Ow. That really hurts. Please die. <laughs> no river for you. Ah. And torso. 
Torso head? No, torso, torso. Center of mass is what I want to do. Knock him right over. So we can go up. Uh, I was trying to be clever. I was trying to be a smarty pants, but that didn't work. <laughs> oh well. So we have that last one in there, and then we can quick loot and move on.